Hey guys, we're back again. We just changed from the cab to outside. I'm gonna take it down to a little area which uh, is different going back home. Thought I'd come this way and show you. It's a nice through road up that way. Going a different way into Sunbury. It's going a different way to Sunbury, so we're going to go in the back way. Thought I'd show you this way. It's a bit different. Still a bit wet out there and raining. A bit bumpy down this way. road down here guys comes down to a uh, sort of pine trees down the bottom there comes down to a single bridge here and you must keep uh, sort of thing there's no overtaking or passing here and the river is there Looks like someone's hit the barrier there. Used to be able to go down for a walk down there, but you to my right. Okay. 
keep guys at to let their kids learn how to drive in the um, paddocks. Some kids like that smashing derby. <laughs> Demolition derby sort of thing, you know. Have fun, carried away when they get to teenagers. I'm only doing 60. I did a, just a message to Nico, his experience. I did do a test, mate, with the heater, uh, with this mobile phone on its stand. Doesn't seem to do any uh, harm to the back of the phone. Doesn't make it as too hot. I have the temperature on about one, so. It's not so bad, um, which is good. Plenty of sheep out. One said he's back. Tail shave. Some nice houses around here. Big security fences. Gates, I should say. Dirt track down that way to my right. Some dirt tracks you gotta watch because you don't know whether someone's come along with a trailer and they've had broken wood um, and stuff, you know, nails might have fallen out, so you have to be a bit cautious. There, lots of lovely uh, cactuses. Some not so nice properties, some lovely properties around. That one's got cactuses all in there. Wow, ouch. <laughs> prickly pear. Oh, a lot of prickly pear. Oh, look at these. Looks like that he's come the wrong way. Looks like a tension. Yeah. That that's uh, the back of uh, that's the back of. Uh, Sunbury Asylum there. Anyway, hang on guys, I'll get out of here. Just have to go back around. Somehow I think I must have missed the turn off. I don't know what's up there. Nice stand there. I might have missed the turn off somewhere. I haven't been up this far before. I might have come down one. Road a bit too much. Oops! <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> That's alright. I think I came down one road too much. I 
gone a little bit further down. Plenty of sheep in that paddock. Which Australia was raised on, a sheep's back. Down one a little bit too far, I think. That's Duncan's Lane. Love to have a beer with Duncan. Love to have a beer with Dunk. We drink in moderation. And we never give a gig rolling drink. We drink it down in country where the atmosphere is great. I'll have a beer with Duncan because Duncan's me, mate. <laughs> Slim Dusty sang that and it was a great song, brilliant song and uh, he carried on for a fair bit there and before he passed away, it must be this one, yes, this is the one we've got to go down. Quinnan Road, this is the one I missed, sorry guys, bloody yell. <laughs> I'm not going to say bloody Nora, but I'm going to say bloody L. <laughs> there, uh, that's a communications tower there, am I right? For mobile phones and stuff like that. My cousin actually, Dougie, he built those, put them up. All the way from uh, Melbourne to Seymour up to you know wherever they need to be put my cousin um, helped get them up there and helped build them then he um, brought a hotel up in Bribey Island up in Queensland God he told me a few jokes up there and uh, a few things up there what they used to do uh, what the some of the visitors used to say to him, you know, uh, joking around, having fun with my cousin. He used to play along with it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a dead bird there. I thought corellas are getting into it because it's dead. They'll eat anything. They'll even eat their own. Hey girl, I might change that song to I love to have a beer with Tropical Tim. I love to have a beer with him. We drink in moderation. We never ever get rolling drunk. We drink at the town and country where the atmosphere is great. I love to have a beer with Tropical Tim because he is my mate. <laughs> There you go, matey. <laughs> Big shout out to you. <laughs> After that, I need a San Miguel. Hell, Paulson. Best beer, best beer in the Philippines. All right, guys. I'm not insane. I'm just having fun with my two mates. Tropical team. And an Aussie in the Philippines, William and Chick. Two good friends of mine. Oh, as well as Big E in the Philippines. Big E in Cebu, sorry. Top blokes. Beautiful countryside around here. I 
I think this is the way they want to come with the new freeway down through here, which will make these residents happy. And I think we'll just take a dip around this way here, have a gander, a look. I think they might come this way because they want to join um, one of these roads, might be back further up to the back of uh, Jackson's Hill here. You now I've lived here for so long and I keep forgetting a bloody hill. Silly me. I want to um, bring the main road up this way and join it to the back of Jackson's Hill. So they might have to make it a little bit wider two lanes. I reckon they should man, just leave it on bloody road the way it is and just run the road all the way up into the back of Jackson's Hill here. Jeez. Save them hassle. They've already got a road. Just make a long way. This is what you see when I come down the other way. And it's a dead end down here, guys. Looks like a lot of rubbish at the bottom. Now, I won't show you that. Yeah, so we're going to head back. Um, some people tend to leave their junk, rubbish, down there. Here off. So, yeah. I think they want to go through that way and keep going up into the back of Jackson's Creek but there is a road over towards my far right that's probably better for it than this way it is a bit dark we've had a lot of rain here Go and take another look down the other road. We'll see. We'll have a look. Just show you that way. I think it might be the other one um, that I was talking about because that can go into the back of Jackson's Creek, but uh, Jackson's Hill. Sorry. Um, this way might be the better of the two. Just have a gander. Oh, little wren. Little wrens around here. Birds. We'll just have a look down here. Go back up a little bit and we'll have a look. This way. This way might be the one that they're looking into. Fox Hollow. This brings you into. Uh, you're probably saying, Jeez, Scott knows his way around. Where's he going though? What's he bloody doing? <laughs> yeah, that's the back of the asylum. Mount Masson's all. Uh, which you can't really see, guys. Um, Sorry. Go over there a little bit. Mount Macedon straight over there. And it's fully covered in with cloud at the moment. But I think this might be the way they might um, bring... Um, 
the uh, road into the back of uh, Jackson's Hill going up that road and oh, up that little dirt track and up there or they might go across that way I don't know um, they've been trying to work out a way of going into the back of Jackson's Hill without um, causing too much traffic and going around the back of our place so looks like there's some works going on up here This dirt here, that's the RACV guy. And more rubbish up here. Fortunately, sorry. Looks like someone's uh, trying to haul some of the, excuse the rubbish guys, um, a wrecked car that's just been um, shoved there and they've got a flat tyre, it's an old ute, probably been um, dumped there, stolen. I think they're going to try and um, go in the back one of these two roads, the one we went down before or this one. Must be having morning tea. He's checking, probably doing his books and stuff. Oh, excuse me, guys. Some nice houses around here too. Horses are having fun. Got their raincoats on. <laughs> Tundra looks like it needs repair. Back there. Building a nice sandstone house there. Looks lovely. back in the Sunbury. Back home, go check on Granny, see what she's doing. I think I might be a little bit later than I usually am. TJ's still sleeping, bless his heart. When this is all over, we might go and pop in and see William and Chick, I want to catch up with a few people. Uh, I want to catch up with Tropical Tim and Asana Canal. And Big E in Cebu. Che. Chrisaz. And, uh, you know, just say hello and get to meet our friends on YouTube. We also, I think we're gonna probably pop over to Bahal and see uh, Ruthie and Arthur. Probably go over with Chauffeur Jan if we get back there. See what happens with what's going on at the moment, guys. It's uh, one of those, uh, it's gone over the railway there. One of those things, uh, just catch up with who we can catch up with at the time what my time allows um two is a, another big factor because Arlene might stay over there for um a month and then I'll probably go back over and pick her up but 
but uh, yeah, that's that's on the cards. Oh, another house up for sale. As I said, it's up to uh, what's on the cards with me, how long we can stay over there too, by the way, guys. Looks like someone's taken out the thing here. And um, meet some meet and greet some of our friends. So, yeah, our, my subscribers as well as they are subscribed to me which will be great coming out of um, that road that we've been going on it's a little bit just sort of taking a show you what's the back and summary from that sort of um, things winery up on the hill getting out of here that was old vineyard road guys if you didn't see the sign getting out of here is sometimes a bit gnarly and it's a bit awkward sometimes but, you know we've got mountains hills around us Which is quite beautiful when you look at it. We're semi-regional now due to uh, all the house building that's going on. Um, plant that on the left are all wineries up there, up and coming wineries. Uh, I think most of them, most of the wineries up there are probably hobby farms I'm not sure um, but a few of them are pretty well okay now if I own the property there's no way I would tell those people to put signs up on my property I don't care who they are I just would not like it um, but that's me guys that's my opinion even if they offered me money I don't think I'd put it up there have them put up there because it's a really when you look at it that container well it's different but uh, when you look at it I know it's publicity and stuff like that and you'd get money for it but you know you'd be uh, wanting them to charge them a little packet for it so you know just to scrape by and help you out a bit Still don't know what's happening to the building on our right over there. Um, was told that it's going to be Kmart. Um, when that will eventuate, I don't know. Uh, possibility that uh, it could be next year now, the way things are going. Um, maybe they have to... Uh, Kmart are looking at seeing whether it's going to be worth their value putting it there. Just concentrating on the road guys. Got a lot of uh, wholesale and that mattress factories, uh, industrial area, that's what I meant to say, on my right. Well guys, this has been Scott Expert in the Philippines. We'll catch you later. Have a great day. Enjoy, relax, have fun and remember, life is good. There guys.